Okay, here's something you guys might uh, get a kick out of. I've got another one of these uh, crystal circuit exciters built up on a board now. I went ahead and built it up on a, a regular board trying to mimic as best I could the original one that was on this prototype board and uh, I wanted everything about in the same relationship and, and everything and I got it to, to work <clears throat> anyway um, it's doing the, the usual stuff here but uh, there's a couple things about this I guess guys are having trouble replicating this and <clears throat> you're gonna need this crystal it's an 18, or I'm sorry, 13.56 megahertz crystal. Uh, this is correct. It's a 100 ohm, uh, 100k resistor. Um, the best transistor I've found is an MPS A06, like what Dr. Stifford uses in its SEC. The best inductor is a 1000 micro Henry choke. It's a 102. Um, you can use a number of one, a number of these uh, decoupling. Uh, are coupling uh, capacitors here. Um, I ended up just using the same thing as this, which is this uh, 10 picofarad, which is a 10 on the little tiny thing on the second build, but you can use a number of things here. And in fact, if, as long as you're down on the picofarads here, you can usually get it to run. The guys have asked me, what what is this L3 coil? Um, you, what you do is you take a battery. This is how I'm building them. Take a battery, wrap stiff paper around it, and you use 26 gauge wire and wind up the coil on the paper and then take the battery out and you've got the coil. Now this is a standard L3 like what comes on a SEC 18 or, or so right there. This is a SEC 18. By the way, guys, when you get your unit from Dr. Stifler, be very, very careful with it. They're rather delicate. And I screwed up the, the traces on the back of this and had to uh, repair it. So just be careful with it. Uh, the transistor is removable, so you don't have to worry about that. But uh, the bottom traces are really delicate. And you can short it out pretty easily if you don't put something on the bottom and you're careful with it. But anyway, that's a, a SEC 18.8. Um, microvolt, I believe, is how he goes. And got one of these, and he studied it, and, and then put it away. And uh, um, I think that's what I'm going to do with this. I'm not going to use it anymore. I've used it enough to know what it's going to do, and I can replicate it if I need to. But uh, this actually has Dr. Stifler's name on it and a date. And to me, it's kind of an artifact to uh, hold on to. But Anyway, this is how I'm making these L3s, uh, which are like that. But on this unit here, they're bigger. And you need to make a bigger one. This is uh, about the full length of the battery. I haven't checked it with an in, in, inductance meter to see what the inductance is, but uh, this is what I'm using. And then I'm using a ferrite rod for tuning. And if you don't have the ferrite rod, you're just hitting and missing on what the inductance is of this, and it might or might not work. But there's the specs on this L3 coil that I'm using. Uh, there's the dimensions of it. Uh, it's paper. On a real sec unit, they're plastic. They're like a PVC piece of PVC wound up. It's about 26 gauge. It might be 24 gauge on a real sec. But uh, you can get away with um, 26. But this was what was kind of fun here was the first unit here. I put an AV plug on it, ran it over this L3, and then ran it right in from an uh, AV plug back into a pulse motor. And um, the LED blinks as the capacitor in this circuit charges up and discharges. And this is being run wirelessly. It's the second circuit, independent of this circuit, running off of this circuit right here. And I'm calling this the crystal circuit exciter. And it is an exciter, and no doubt about it. Um, here's my little tester unit that I've got. And you can get it to light up from all over the place. 
even lights up off this second coil here. So anyway, um, I hope somebody can replicate this sooner or later. Um, you can probably use a different value crystal here, but then you're going to have to possibly change uh, the inductors uh, to get it to, to do something. It might work just as good at another frequency, but this is the frequency that uh, Dr. Stifler used and what I'm using for the best results is 13.5 or 13.6. He said 13.6 is the optimum. But Anyway, that's my little experiment for the day, running a motor wirelessly off of a second circuit. Thanks for watching.